Alright, so recently I made a little video, which was just flyby cinematic of one of Krunker's maps. Not an official map, but a custom map. And so, people liked it enough that they wondered how I did it. So this is that video for it. So, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Blender. Basically, any version is going to work, and you're going to need some map objects. To get map objects, just check in the help channel of my Discord server in the pins of that. So with that out of the way, open up Blender and then import in your map. Already, he got some pretty nice looking things. So, so one thing I also need to mention is that in order for this to work, you have to change your render engine to cycles. And here are some just basic settings in order to get cycles working properly. First off, we're going to go over to the shading tab and under the world shader, we're going to add in this new node ever since 2.90. You need a version past that because otherwise this little sky texture node isn't going to exist. So connect the color of that into the color and then tweak around with the settings until you get something that you like. From there, the camera is controlled via a path, a Bezier path. So if you don't know how to add those, just go into shift A into add menu under the Bezier and then I just select path. Within this, I then tap into edit mode, press O and then move this around a bit with proportional editing so I can make a little path that looks about how I want. So after the path is done, I then come over into the camera's properties under constraints and give it a follow path constraint and set that object to the path that we just created. With this, we can use the offset in order to change where front and back this is on the camera. So you can start scrolling through and adjusting your path how you see fit and also use this point to animate from the beginning to the end of when you want it to go from 0% to 100%. Additionally, to increase the focal length of your camera, if you want it to be a bit wider, you just decrease the lens in millimeters on this panel here. And then, finally, if you want to give it a bit of roll, a bit of jostle, a bit of turns and twists, adjust the roll on each of the segments of the path in order to change how it spins at each point. You can create some interesting effects and some barrel rolls with this. So that's about it. That's how you create a nice cinematic. Just render it out with Control F12. Make sure to change your render settings to FFmpeg video and under encoding to MPEG4. And there you go. That's an entire cinematic that you can add into any of your montages, scenes, or anything. All under four minutes.